Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to do a video where I compare uh, Adobe Stock to Bots and Apps Unlimited, um, uh, Unlimited Stock Photos company. Uh, you guys know in the stock photo game, we use stock photos for a lot of different things, a lot of different things that relate to commercial related purposes, and we're always looking for as many stock photos as we can possibly get, and I've been a customer from pretty much every company that you could probably find uh, to buy stock photos. You name it, Getty, uh, Adobe, uh, 22, I mean, just all the different companies. And uh, I figured I'd do this review, just kind of compare and contrast. Now, just to be clear, uh, I do use stock photos for print on demand. Uh, and when I say print on demand, I want to be clear about what I actually do. Uh, I take photos uh, that have like a good capture to them and I put them on a product. So let's just say it's like a picture, like a photo photograph, like a picture frame with, you know, the frame and the, or like a canvas, um, sometimes even notebooks, depending on what the photo is, uh, calendars. And I'll put these photos right on these products and sell the actual products and legally i'm allowed to do so through the copyright photo so basically what i'm doing is i'm comparing adobe stock to uh bots and apps so or this you can think of this as an alternative to adobe stock so just to be clear let's go ahead and head over to the pricing of adobe stock and so adobe stock for 10 assets per month which is 10 photos per month uh 10 photos videos whatever um you're looking at Twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, excuse me, not videos. Um, ten assets, meaning images, templates, audio, and vectors. I apologize. Uh, the assets come over here. If you want two hundred dollars a month, you get twenty five videos. So um, that's kind of how it is. If you pay yearly, if you're going to be paying monthly, you get three photos a month uh, for twenty nine ninety nine. So essentially, you're paying ten dollars per photo. Uh, the reason why I use this company instead, uh, bots and apps is because it's, I like crazy cheap compared to it. Uh, you get to pay $9 and 99 cents a month, uh, for the literally the exact same tool. You get access to millions and millions and millions of photos and you could pay monthly and there's an unlimited amount you could download. So the whole thing is that there is no limit on the number of photos that you could download. So Obviously, stock photo companies are not as good unless you actually see the kind of photos that they have. Well, this is a pretty cool thing, right? If I check out, like, let's say, let's type in surf here on, on Adobe stock, let's see the kind of results, typical results, right? If I go to the software, which is this software, uh, the cool thing that you could use it as a Chrome extension. So it is a file that you download, you add it like a, it's a software, basically, you download it to your browser. And once it's on your browser, you can access it through right here. And I'll show a video on how you guys can install this if you guys happen to want to use it. But I could just search here the keyword surf and I'll hit search. And you could see here it's going to come up with a whole list of results for surf. And look how cool these results are just as good as Adobe, right? So let's compare the results. So this is the Adobe website. And here I'm using the un unlimited uh, copyright free images from bots and apps. And I'm going to type in surf. Okay, and you could see here, like I said, we'll let this load. You could see here all these different photos. Now, if I ever want to download an image, since I already have a membership and I'm able to access it, I can just click on anything I want. Like, let's say I want this picture of these waves. Let's go ahead and click on this. And once you click on the actual image, it will download it for you. And you can see here it's very high resolution. They look really good. Um, so, yeah, so that's how you use the tool. Now, the fact that I can go on here and download unlimited photos, like an unlimited quantity of photos, makes my life a whole lot easier because I don't have to worry about the amount of credits I have per website. So for like Adobe, if I'm paying $29 a month, at most I can download three images per month, right? Uh, that's assuming that I pay monthly. If I'm paying yearly, then I would have to pay $29, which is $30 times 12, which comes out to... Um, let's see here, uh, $30 times 12, and we're, this is not even assuming tax, is $360. And with that, I can only download 10 photos a month, which comes out to 120 photos total. So 120 photos for $360. But here on this software, like I said, I can download hundreds every single day, thousands every day, literally an unlimited number of photos, and 
I could still keep going. There's no limit. And the cost is a whopping $9.99. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd just put this out there because this is exactly what I would do. So I'll give you guys an example here. I'll take a photo like something like this, right? And I'll take photo uh, a photo like this. And I'll put it on, for example, I'll go to, and maybe not this photo specifically because let's be honest, what's that, right? So um, let's find a better photo. You know, we might as well. Uh, let me pull up a picture of mountains. Let me let me pull up a picture of mountains. Let's go. And by the way, guys, if you want to see how many uh, photos that come up, you have here like these pages, right? So you have page one, page two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It doesn't stop at ten. It's just listed at ten here. If I click on page ten, it could, you know, I got like six, seven, eight more pages, ten pages. It'll take me to page fourteen. Let me go ahead and click on page fourteen. Now I'm at page fourteen. Let me click on page eighteen. Right. Let's see how many pages left. We have page twenty-two now. Like so, you guys could see the pages of photos just go on and on and on forever, and you could see. I'm scrolling down here, this little red bar. This is shows how many photos there are per page. So it's a ton of stuff here. So let's just say I find a photo that I like. Let's say this one. This one looks really, really cool. I like this one. Let's go ahead and enlarge it. And so I'll take a photo like this. High definition. Looks great. And I'll go to society 6 for example.com. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. society 6com And you could put your photos on products. So if I type in like canvas here, right? Canvas print. These can't, let me get this out of the way. Um, this canvas print, like right here, I could put my photo over this canvas print, right? Somebody put their own photo over it. This pillow, I could put my photo over this pillow, right? And what I'll do is whenever somebody searches for like uh, mountains or landscape, right? Let's search landscape here, right? And they'll select like, let's say framed art prints. They'll find my photo and they'll buy it. Now, there's a lot of people that could potentially buy something like this. It could be for a doctor's office. It could be for somebody who's just looking to get some artwork for their house. It could be for any reason, but there's a huge market for it, and I've been doing it for a long time now. Uh, so I just figured I'd share this information um, because, you know, this is something I enjoy doing every single day. So I just want to show you guys something else that I do. So I'll search for like an animal picture, and animals work really, really good. So I'll search for, let's say, a lion. I want a picture of a lion, right? And so I'll hit search here and we'll wait, see what comes up. And so like, this is really, really cool right here. You got all different kinds of photos, right? So like, this is really cool photo like this. I'll download and I'll put this on a phone case, for example, and I'll sell this photo, right? So that's essentially how I do it. And, um, I save literally thousands of dollars, uh, not using companies like this, even though they're great. They're, I just think they're overpriced, um, which is really the key here. So if you guys want to uh, use this software, the same exact software I'm using, I will leave my affiliate link in the description box down below. Anybody who checks out this software, I do get a small commission of 10% uh, when you guys sign up to the software. So if the software is $9.99, I get 10% of that, which is uh, $0.99. Cents. Uh, when you sign up. So that's essentially what it is. They're actually running a deal right now where for the first 200 customers, discounted price for yearly membership, not $99, but $79. So you're getting like a good $20 off for the whole entire year. And once again, you can upload literally unlimited amount of photos. So you can upload, I mean, download thousands and thousands per day, right? So that's pretty cool. I mean, we could just search. I mean, I don't even know. We could search so many things. Let's type in horse. Let's see what comes up here. And by the way, for the Shopify folks, do this on Shopify works really well as well. Um, if you create like a print on man Shopify store, like I'll take, I'll take this photo right here. I'll download this and let's see what, how it looks like. I'm interested to see, look at that photo, super high definition. You could practically see the, 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 uh, I don't even know what the word, the hairs of the horse you could see the eyelashes you could see all the different aspects to the photo so super high definition pretty good i'll leave the link in the description and uh now i'm going to show you guys how to actually install this uh tool once you get it all right guys so i'm going to show you how to install the uh, bots and apps uh, unlimited copyright free images tool so you guys can use it too so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to 
uh, botsandapps.gumroad.com. That's where you're going to purchase the tool. Uh, you scroll all the way down, go to the truly unlimited, uh, unlimited copyright free images tool. Purchase the tool, choose whether you want to pay yearly or monthly, hit subscribe. Once you go ahead and do that, you're going to have to pay for the tool. Once you pay for the tool, it will take you to a page where you click view content or download content. And basically what you're going to have is a license key and you're going to have a download button. After you download it, okay, you're going to have a zip file. It's going to look exactly like this. Whether you're a Mac or on PC, it doesn't matter. Chromebook, it's all the same, okay? You're going to open up your browser. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and delete my tool here so you guys can see. I'm going to hit remove from Chrome. I'm going to take this folder, and I'm going to... Uh, is, right now, it's compressed or it's zipped. Same thing. If you're on Mac, PC, it doesn't matter. You can open this up and hit open, right? And then you're going to hit extract all, okay? Now, you're going to look for the folder that doesn't say Mac OS X, but you're going to look at the regular folder. Now, I already did this, uh, so let, uh, So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cancel this. I'm going to select Replace All Files, okay? All right, I already did it, obviously. So now you should have everything exported. Now, yours is going to look a little different. You're not going to see the zip file. You're going to see this, and you're going to see this. You want to take your folder, the one that says Free Images Extension. You're going to take it, and you're going to drag and drop it to your desktop, Okay. Now, the desktop part is really not necessary. I'm just doing this to make life easier. Then what you want to do is you want to head over here to your three buttons on your on your Chrome extend, uh, dashboard. And then you want to head over here to More Tools, then hit the Extensions button. When you select the Extensions button, you're going to take the folder, you're going to drag it, and you're going to drop it in. Okay, once you drop it in, congratulations, the tool is installed. You want to also make sure, by the way, I forgot to add this in, make sure developer mode is on, okay? You're not going to be able to drag it and drop it if developer mode isn't on. You're going to see this, right? So make sure developer mode is on. If it's not on, you're going to see this. So once again, you go over here to, to your browser, you turn developer mode on. After you re, uh, unzip the extension, you're going to drag and drop the folder that contains all the files. The files have is this stuff, assets, CSS, HTML, JS, libraries, manifest. All these files, you're going to take them in one folder, you're going to drag it and drop it. You are not going to go in and drag all these like this. That's not what you're going to do at all. You're going to go to here, to these files, right, this one folder, and you're going to drag and drop the whole entire package, okay? But like I said, developer mode has to be on. If you still have this issue where it's keep showing something like this then you're going to go over here you're going to make sure developer mode is on then you're going to select load unpacked okay and you're going to go over here to your desktop where it's downloaded and you're going to look for the folder so in my case right i have uh let's go ahead and see here i have to look for the free image extension which is like this i'm gonna hit select folder and congratulations it's uploaded so to be clear there's two ways to do it you can hit the load unpacked button and you drag it and drop it or you simply unzip the folder, drag it to your desktop, take the folder that you dragged, drag it in here. Now, it, you have to make sure in both scenarios that developer mode is on. Once it's installed, then go over here to this puzzle piece icon, and you're going to scroll down till you find the tool and hit this little pin button. And the pin button is going to essentially allow you to open up the tool. Once the tool is open up, you add your username, you add your license key, there you go, you hit start app, and you're done. You'll never have to do this ever again, and that's the only aspect to it. So that's it, that's how to install the tool. If you need help, ask me questions, leave them in the comments down below. And uh, something that I also wanna share is if you get this little error that says uh, manifest file not found that means you're dragging the wrong folder I want to make it abundantly clear that you are dragging the wrong folder the folder that you're dragging has to contain all the files within it along with a manifest file all right you don't have to look inside the folder if you do everything right the way I told you all right I'll talk to you guys later peace out bye